Welcome to OD861, building with the Microsoft Intune SDK and securing Hello World. Join us for a hands-on demo where you'll learn how to integrate the Microsoft Intune app SDK into your line of business for LOB applications using the foundations of Secure Future Initiative, or SFI. We'll start with a simple Hello World, develop in Swift, how to manage it all in the Intune admin portal, all while following the latest security best practices. This session is perfect for developers and IT pros looking to get started with the Intune SDK and enhance the security of their app deployments. Awesome, so for today's agenda, we'll do a quick intro, how to get started with the Microsoft Intune app SDK with their line of business apps, an awesome demo by Raheem, and lastly, just a recap of what we've learned today. Hi everyone, thanks for joining. Max and I are part of the Microsoft Security Customer Experience Engineering Team, where we focus on developing and improving customers' experience in security products such as Intra ID, Intune, MDE, Purview, Sentinel, and more. Hey folks, I focus on communities and social media across our Microsoft security products, where our goal is to enhance the customer experience, meeting you where customers are, offering quick assistance, and providing you a platform to influence product development. Thank you, Max. So I'm Raheem, and as a member of the security app dev team, my colleagues and I focus on the developer landscapes for these technologies. We provide SDK integrations and tools that empower our customers to build their line of business applications while enhancing their security posture. So what is the Intune App SDK? Well, the Intune App SDK is available for both iOS and Android, enabling your app to support Intune app protection policies. These policies are rules designed to ensure that your organization's data remains safe and contained within your managed apps. By implementing Intune app protection policies, you can control how data is accessed and shared by apps on mobile devices, providing a secure environment for your organization's data. And one of the benefits of using the Intune app SDK is it enhances your security by leveraging Intune app protection policies to keep your data safe. It also allows for minimum code changes. Most features can be enabled without altering the app's behavior. Another feature is data control, which allows the IT to control data access and sharing it on mobile devices. Another good feature is remote data wipe, which enables the IT to remotely wipe corporate data from the managed app. Another great feature also is user authentication. Basically, the app enforces PIN policies and works with school accounts and sign-ins, enabling single sign-on. So what is SFI? SFI is a multi-year commitment by Microsoft to advance the way we design, build, test, and operate our technology to meet the highest possible standards for security. It includes specific objectives such as protecting identities and secrets, isolating production systems, protecting networks, and monitoring and detecting cyber threats. So what are some of the prerequisites? Well, there are some to keep in mind when enabling the Intune App SDK for iOS app protection policies within an organization. Some of these include access to your app's source code, the ability to develop, test, and debug iOS apps within Xcode, ensuring you have the appropriate Entra and Intune licenses, and of course, for more information, please visit aka.ms forward slash Entra and aka.ms forward slash Microsoft Intune. And lastly, you also need an Intune iOS app protection policy, or commonly referred to as APP, created and assigned to the appropriate user group. For further details on configuring the appropriate policy, check out aka.ms forward slash build 2025 forward slash Intune app SDK to learn more. Thank you, Max. For the final requirements, I believe it'll be Intune SDK for iOS and MSAL. Developers can receive notifications for new releases and updates to the SDK by watching the repository on GitHub. This ensures they always are informed about the latest changes and improvements. To access our GitHub repository and get started, visit aka.ms forward slash Intune forward slash app SDK Dash iOS. While this demo focuses on integrating the Intune SDK, it also utilizes Microsoft Authentication Library, or MSAL. MSAL Library also allows developers to obtain a security token for the Microsoft Identity Platform for user authentication. To get started, see aka.ms forward slash build 2025 forward slash MSAL to learn more. Thank you. Feel free to pause the video now and take in all this information. 
here's a diagram and flow of how to integrate the Intune SDK. Follow these steps to get started. Register your application and enter ID to obtain the necessary credentials. Retrieve the client ID and other configuration details required for authentication. You'll start a new Xcode project for your iOS application and then integrate the Intune SDK into that Xcode project to enable the app protection policy. You'll then add an MCell framework to that project and then enable the keychain sharing. Last but not least, you'll modify the info plist and invoke the Intune MAM enrollment. You can learn more by visiting aka.ms forward slash build 2025 forward slash Intune app SDK slash flow. Thank you. So how does it all work? Well, we'll love to show you a demo. Over to you, Raheem. So let's take a look at our line of business application that we've just created. Looking at the code snippet, we have an app that cycles through an array of emojis and Hello World is printed to the console logs. It's a simple app, but an effective way to show how we're actually integrating with the Intune SDK. Let's do this now by adding the required frameworks. So no order of operation is needed. So we'll just start by adding or importing the MSAL framework into the project so that our application can authenticate to Microsoft Identity Platform using modern authentication. Next, we'll go ahead and add the Intune MAM frameworks to enable Intune client management. Once completed, we'll have the required frameworks and its dependencies linked to our project. Next, we focus on the Intune MAM configurator to modify the info plist with minimum required changes. Great tool. We can see that all the info plist data has been added and no additional action items are required. Next, let's focus on the actual keychain sharing and allowing SSO and sharing data securely with apps within the same keychain group. Very important step. At this point, we can start with importing the Intune SDK into our view controller and adding functionalities such as login and logout buttons and maybe a generate, logout, uh, generate logs button to help with troubleshootings if needed. Next, we'll also add an enrollment delegate class to handle the enrollment status and actions within the Intune SDK. Next, we'll focus on segues. This will help us define the flow of our application uh, interface, which is going to end up being triggered by the user's interactions, such as tapping those buttons that we created earlier in the functions. Great. Once all of our buttons are linked, we can go ahead and maybe start the process of enrolling into Intune and deploying the app protection policy. In this example, we'll see that the enrollment delegate has returned my enrollment results, which will fail because the application is not targeted by a MAM policy yet. Let's go ahead and maybe try and fix that as well. What we'll do is we'll log into the Intune app protection policy that we've defined earlier. We'll go ahead and add the bundle ID to that app protection policy and deploy it to our device. Once successfully deployed, we'll go ahead and test enrollment again and confirm that all is working successful. That's awesome. We can now see that our application is protected by the Intune SDK, and we can go ahead and begin creating the app pin. 
Once this is finished, we can now integrate our iOS application with Intune and we're ready to deploy it to the organization using our normal Intune deployment. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for joining us today. We hope that this session has provided you with valuable insights into building secure applications using Intune SDK. Remember, security is a continuous journey and integrating robust tools like Intune SDK is a crucial step in safeguarding your applications. For more information and resources, check out our repository at aka.ms forward slash build 2025 forward slash OD861. Happy coding. Also, Please note that the sample is also references only, and it's your responsibility for any actions it may perform in your environment. Remember, always test. Thank you all so much for joining us in today's session, building with the Microsoft Internet SDK and securing Hello World. We truly appreciate you taking the time to be with us here today, and we hope this session gave you valuable insights into how you can strengthen your LOB apps within your Intune environments. Lastly, if you have any questions or feedback, please drop your thoughts in the comment section. We would love to connect with you. Cheers.